I'm Ghislaine, co-founder and CEO of Celerio. At Celerio, we're solving the core challenge in AR today, context. Let's start with a simple example. You want to put Spider-Man in your living room. This is what you get today, an overlay. It's the same experience you get when you use Pokemon Go, for example. And when you move your camera around, the virtual object stays there. Now, this is because these AR products focus on one single thing, knowing where the camera is. Now, this is what you get with Celerio. <laughs> it's an interactive experience. Spider-Man is actually interacting with your living room. Although this is intuitive, it is not possible on the millions of AI devices in the market without Celerio. And this is because we've taken a different approach. We go beyond knowing where the camera is and focus on what the camera sees. Now, how does this fit into the AI landscape? Celerio builds on top of AI devices and transfers what the camera sees into data that the applications can interact with. This layer is becoming publicly known today as the AI cloud, expected to be more valuable than Google search. Now, Celerio is an AI cloud service not like any other. Those other devices focus on telling you where the camera is at scale. Now, Celerio focuses on telling you what every physical object around us is about. Let me show you what I mean. Here, Celo grabs the camera input, applies deep learning on it to create a digital representation of your living room. Now, Spider-Man knows where the sofa is, where the table is, and can make itself comfortable in your living room. This goes beyond just tables and sofas. We do the same for TVs, cars, every industrial equipment. In other words, this applies to more complex AI experiences like redesigning your whole living room, or applying educational materials on objects around us. Let me show it in action. So we integrated Celerio on the iPhone here. Right. So this point, called feature points, represents what the iPhone sees. It's what is being used today to track the camera. Now, that is what Celerio sees. Not only do we know the objects in there, we know their shapes, where they are. And what that means is we can now physically interact with that environment in ways that were not possible before. And we're going to show you some examples. Here, we're replacing the laptop. You can have, you know, in retail, such as different objects related to that uh, product, or replace a sofa with another one. I bet you didn't see the Spider-Man. This is in gaming. Now you actually have realistic AR experiences. Again, you cannot do this today with the apps you have there. Now, this is my favorite. This kit has just taken over my laptop. Now, to solve this large piece of the AR cloud require a unique set of skills. I worked at Amazon as a senior engineer. During my time there, I built public AWS services from the ground up to serve millions of developers. My co-founder, Flora, pioneered the technology behind Celerio. She started doing her PhD at Cambridge University and got a Google Fellowship Award for it. Now, that I was only given to one project in this category in the entire continent. Pavan worked at IBM, and I spent the last five years building AI products as a researcher. Hui worked at Adobe, and he has a patent in this field. Now, we just announced our OS SDK in closed beta, and we just have 50 developers, more than 50 developers, excited to use us, among which are companies like Archaeologic and Leo, integrating it into the AI apps. We are also talking closely with the OEMs to get a deeper integration onto the AI devices. Uh, if you're curious to see how Celerio works, see a live demo, get a bit more detail about the use cases that this enables now, please come talk to us. And if you're an investor, we're currently fundraising to scale our team 
and speed up our release roadmap. Thank you.